Now, the National Treasury has renewed calls on Parliament to fast-track the raising of the debt ceiling. National Treasury Principal Secretary Dr. Chris Kipto told the Public Debt and Privatization Committee that without increasing the debt ceiling beyond the current 10 trillion shilling limit, the government would face challenges raising cash to finance the 2023-2024 budget. The public debt was at 9.14 trillion shillings last December. This is expected to increase to 9.86 trillion shillings when the country borrows 720 billion shillings to finance government programs in the current financial year. The National Treasury projects that by the end of June this year, public debt will have risen to 9.41 trillion shillings, leaving the government with room to borrow less than 600 billion shillings in the next financial year. Raise revenue, look at the debt position and this strategy is telling us also how we want to do this but we are saying we, we, we have less appetite for borrowing but we can't be unrealistic and say we can stop borrowing. Uh, there's no country that has, uh, doesn't borrow. Dr. Kipto called on Parliament to fast track the process of revising up the debt ceiling from the current numerical figure of 10 trillion shillings to a debt anchor of 55% of debt to GDP. The worry that is worrying us is that Treasury will be the sole people doing the calculations for the GDP versus the debt ratio. And then comes to justify to say, now we can move on borrowing because we have the current capacity. When you bring us this document and tell us, and tell us that um, uh, we have seven, we want seven hundred and twenty, and we don't know how we are going to 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 manage the whatever is up and above five hundred and eighty-seven, uh, you are essentially telling us uh, pass the law quickly, quickly, so that we can the budget process can go can go on. If the parliament does not change the ceiling then we have to operate with 587 billion, meaning that budget has to be cut by 133 billion to fit within the law. Dr. Kipto insists the debt is sustainable, but with high risk of distress, noting that fiscal consolidation is ongoing to reduce the fiscal deficit. We are able to push our taxes and while containing our expenditures, then we could actually live within a sustainable budget deficit. And the desire is to do more, more taxes and, and, and readjust on expenditures, see common use items if we can also see the lower them. The government plans to establish a sinking fund to help settle debt obligations and swap short-term debts with long-term debts to create a breathing space. We can do swaps and we are thinking of doing that. Can we get it uh, swaps or, or see a way to lengthen others who can take up this? It's a way of managing your, your liability. Wairi Mujenga.